What is going on guys? How are you doing? My name is Rick and I absolutely love jigsaw puzzles. So in this video, we're going to see some bigger puzzles today. Some 3000 pieces, 2000 pieces, all the way down to the 500s. Please let me know in the comments which puzzles you recognize, which puzzles are your absolute favorites, and which puzzles you're looking forward to seeing here on the channel. So let's go. Let's do it. Everything seems hazy. The first puzzle for today is this beautiful 3000 pieces Star Trek The Next Generation by Aquarius. And this officially licensed puzzle from 2021 measures a staggering 32 inches by 45 inches or 82 centimeters by 115. And unlike a lot of the puzzles that we might see out there, this one, instead of coming with a poster, it comes with the list of all the characters and all the ships in this puzzle. And you know, guys, I've mentioned this before. I'm so scared to even start this puzzle. As you can see, that 3000 pieces is way beyond my comfort zone. But in the meantime, let's check out what the pieces look like, quality and so forth, just so that if you want to get this puzzle, you will know exactly what you're getting. Now, the first thing that I noticed in this puzzle is how shiny it is. It's not the glossiest puzzle out there, but it's definitely on the shiny side. So if this is a problem for you, maybe you want to consider another 3000 pieces. This, by the way, is a cardboard uh, jigsaw puzzle. And in terms of the print quality, as you can see, it's got all the details, it's really sharp beautifully put together so i highly recommend this puzzle and it also comes with lots of different shapes in the uh, in the puzzle so i highly recommend it so far just by looking at it i can tell it is well worth the money you're going to spend on this 3000 pieces star trek the next generation my next puzzle in this collection is this beautiful Holzen of 2000 pieces. And this one depicts the Battle of Gibraltar at around the 1600s. And in this picture, we see the Dutch uh, naval fleet totally destroying the Spanish uh, ships. So if you're into arts history, this would be a, an absolutely must have. <laughs> Interestingly, this puzzle is only a couple of centimeters smaller than the 3000 pieces that you've just seen. This one measures 97 centimeters by 68 centimeters. So it's literally, what, 15, 16 centimeters shorter than the 3000. Go figure. Now, in terms of quality, I can tell already that it's got several different shapes, which is great for someone who wants that extra challenge. And the printing itself is really good. It is not reflective at all. I would say this is sort of a, an opaque cardboard puzzle. And yes, I would definitely give this puzzle like a 90 out of 100 in terms of quality. This is everything I expect from a puzzle. This next 2000 pieces beauty is by Holzen and it is part of the Aspect series. And it depicts a place in New Zealand called Glentena on the South Island. I'm fully aware that this is not everyone's cup of tea. There is not much happening in the scene, but for someone who enjoys like horses, mountains, and you know, nature, this is definitely a puzzle to look into. And just like the previous puzzle, this one measures 26 by 38 inches or 68 centimeters by 97. Now, this illustration was created by Peter Morath, an English uh, accomplished painter who comes to New Zealand specifically to find sceneries to paint. And yes, this is a cardboard jigsaw puzzle. And this one is exactly like the previous one you've seen. It's got uh, a number of variations in the, the puzzle shapes. And it's also got a really nice, beautiful quality to the print. And as you can see here as well, it is not the thinnest puzzle out there. So yes, I would give it a, a really big thumbs up for this puzzle as well. All right, so this next puzzle is a super vintage 
Waddington's of 2000 pieces from 1980 and it depicts the castle of Neuschwanstein which you have seen on my channel a couple of times from other brands. Now you may have noticed that yes this got uh, some of a yellow 1980s vibe to it and I tend to think about this puzzles as some sort of a you know like Polaroid of jigsaw puzzles like it's not like colorful enough but it's also got this really nice yellowish tone to them which for me is perfect and this old beauty measures 98 by 72 centimeters or 38 by 28 inches and I guess it is fair to assume that many of you out there might think well but what does it actually look like if it is from the 1980s so let's check it out this puzzle in particular has a lot of greenery and a lot of yellowish bottom colors. It's also cardboard and is also on the sort of medium thickness. However, I don't know if you can see here through this picture, but the printing itself is sadly a little blurry. So it might be something you want to consider if you want to go after and get this particular puzzle. All right, that was our Neuschwanstein by um, Waddington's, and this one is from 1980, 2000 pieces. Next in my collection is this absolutely stunning 2000 pieces Waddington's from 1990, and this one is by the bridge. This, by the way, is a painting by Frederick Bridgman who is known in the art world as someone who was specialized in oriental paintings, anything to do with the Orient. But this, as a contrast, was uh, painted in France, in Normandy. And for anyone interested, this also measures 97 by 68 centimeters or 38 by 27 inches. But let's check out the quality of this puzzle. Also made with cardboard. This one also has uh, some very interesting uh, color scheme and also the printing from what I can actually tell is not too bad. This also has that green back and gives us that very nostalgic vibe to the puzzle. And again, the, the, the quality of the print is not too bad. There's a, a very interesting variation of shapes as well. So this is, yes, a big thumbs up for Waddington's as well. Now this is a very interesting puzzle because it's one of those old, old puzzles that you would love to hate or you just plain hate. This also depicts a place in Germany called Ramsau, um, a sort of an isolated village on the mountains and um, a fun fact about this puzzle is I walked into this place like a recycle center with plants and stuff in Devonport, New Zealand. And I came across a bunch of old puzzles and this was amongst the pile. I ended up buying it with a bunch of other puzzles. But now looking back, I'm so glad I got it because this is going to be literally the oldest looking puzzle Polaroid style that I have in my collection. And this is also a 98 by 72 centimeters or 38 by 28 inches by Waddington's. I mean, I'm, I'm not really expecting the pieces to be extremely high quality. And, um, uh, you know, it's got that really old yellowish, um, as I call it, the Polaroid style of jigsaw puzzles. But it's not too bad. I mean, all the pieces are absolutely perfect there is a little bit of discoloration on the pieces but i can already tell it's got a lot of variation in the shapes which is really good and this one also has that lots of green and yellow all in one piece which will make solving this puzzle very tricky I don't forget, bitch, I'm Let's just say that this puzzle has a lot of personality and I cannot wait to solve this for you here on the channel. I'm sure we're going to have a, a good laugh and a lot of fun solving this puzzle. Like 
This next puzzle is also a Warrington's and this one is slightly newer than the previous. This is from 1993 and it's also 2000 pieces. This is a painting by Frederick Dufault, which by the way reminds me of uh, the summer here in New Zealand. We do a lot of kayaking, we do a lot of rowing. Uh, so I bought this puzzle because of that reference to New Zealand. And for anyone interested, that's also 97 by 68 centimeters or 38 by 27 inches. You know that I'm faded when I really do the most, yeah. But you got me jaded if I turn into a ghost. Everybody talking like they made it. However, sadly, upon checking the quality of the pieces, which is also cardboard, I noticed that the painting itself is also kind of blurry, like one of the puzzles that you've seen before. And to me, that's a big no-no already, but this puzzle was only a couple of dollars that I got also on a secondhand shop. And as you can see here, you see it's really blurry. So hmm, I'm really hoping the rest of the puzzle is not going to be like this, but I'm not hoping that it will get any better. So my initial thought on this 2000 pieces puzzle is please don't buy it. Uh, wait for me to solve it on the channel and then you make your decision. And here, my friends, is the only Educa puzzle that I have in my collection. This also came from that garden center that I mentioned before. However, we are now moving on to the smaller puzzle. This one is only 1500s and I have no idea about the age of this puzzle. So please let me know if you have an idea about the date when this was released. You probably have realized by now, but I do enjoy uh, lots of brick and uh, lots of walls so there's going to be a lot of architectural uh, houses churches and things like that on my channel in terms of size this one is 85 by 60 centimeters and it was printed obviously in barcelona where this um, the educa company is based at but let's check out the quality of this puzzle the first thing i notice straight away is how heavy it is even though the pieces are not thick at all and check out the quality of the print you can literally see every detail every small brick every painting on a wall can be seen through this through the pieces so this is a yes for me a big thumbs up to educa for producing something of such a high quality <laughs> This 1987 jigsaw puzzle by Waddington's, I've literally found yesterday and I bought it for $1 at the secondhand shop. I could not believe it. This one is called Chester by Louis or Louis Rayner and it depicts this very street in England called Bridge Street in the 19th century and this of course has everything that I absolutely love on jigsaw puzzles it's got a lot of beautiful and you know stunning architectural buildings very English very beautiful in all senses and you can see all the people walking around on the tram just going around their business on the street and just so you know this puzzle measures 88 by 58 centimeters or or 35 by 23 inches now this cardboard um, jigsaw puzzle has sort of it seems to have like uh, less variation in terms of shapes but that doesn't actually bother me given that the the picture itself is just so beautiful and intricate and the print is not the sharpest but i don't think it's going to be as blurry as some of the other ones we've seen today so i can easily say this is one of the biggest finds i've had so far now this 1500 pieces jigsaw puzzle by hope is part of the grunt looks series one and it is from the early 80s this one, which also comes from that same recycle center that I was talking about before. And this one is very important to me because it is one of Constable paintings. And this one is called Dead Him Mill. And for those who don't know much about Constable paintings, he was a 19th century painter who 
revolutionized landscape painting at the time when the Industrial Revolution was taking place and everybody was so concerned about painting the big city life. While he decided to go back to the fields and the farms and paint landscape nature. So yes, I would consider this another puzzle with a lot of personality. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but it's definitely mine. This one is 24 by 34 inches or 61 by 86 centimeters. And just by looking at uh, some of the pieces, I can already tell that there is going to be only one type of shape, which could be a bother. But given that this puzzle is all in that sort of brown pastel color, it's probably going to be very difficult regardless of the shape of the pieces, which is also, by the way, uh, cardboard. This, my friends, has got to be the biggest deception in my whole collection. When I bought this puzzle by Kodak, I thought, wow, Kodak has got to be like the best quality in terms of photography in the world. But the first thing you notice here is how saturated the colors are. So this is already sort of hinting that something is not quite right with this puzzle. And hey, this is not even an old, old puzzle. Eh? It's from 2018, so they have absolutely no excuse for what you're about to see right now. Okay, all looking really nice and colorful and everything. However, have a look at some of the pieces. Everything is absolutely blurry. It's like as if it was printed with the cheapest of the cheapest printing material and also the the printing quality. Look at this. Look, this building should be like super sharp and beautiful. You know, it should represent Kodak in all senses. But no, it is literally the blurriest puzzle that I have in my collection, given that this is a, pho a photograph. So no excuses, Kodak. I'm going to give them a big thumbs down for this 1500 puzzle by Kodak. Please don't buy it. You're going to regret it. Now, in contrast, look at this 1983 Waddington's of 1000 pieces. We are now moving into the 1000 pieces puzzles. This one is a painting of a department store in France, which apparently is really famous, but I had never heard of them. And the good thing about this old puzzle from 1983 is that it does have that Charles Wysocki, Wysotsky vibes, doesn't it? And it measures 72 by 49 centimeters or 28 inches by 19. Now let's scrutinize the pieces. So far so good. It looks like the pieces are slightly bigger than the average puzzle. It's got a little bit of discoloration in the cardboard on the back, but the print itself is really good. It's much sharper than, than the Kodak puzzle that I just showed you. So go figure, eh? Absolutely perfect for the age of this puzzle. I couldn't recommend it more. So if you want to get this particular puzzle just go on eBay or on secondhand shops and if you're lucky you may be able to find it. I don't know about you guys but I love this Newport um, scenery in Copenhagen so much so that I have quite a few puzzles of the same picture but in different sort of positions. But anyway this is also a 1991 Waddington's of 1000 pieces. Now the juicy stuff. This puzzle is beautiful. The, sh the printing is very good. However, it is slightly thinner than all the other puzzles that you've seen here today. But overall, it is a great find. If you come across those blue boxes by Waddington's, just go ahead and buy them. They are really good. This 1983 Waddington's of 1000 pieces is yet another great find. I bought this for literally a dollar just the other day. 
And honestly, I couldn't be any happier. The print is absolutely perfect. And look at the imagery on this puzzle. It's sort of a wintry scene of people going about their business on a very busy street in Amsterdam. And look at all the, the details in the architecture. This one measures 72 by 49 centimeters or 28 inches by 19. And even though this puzzle is of a slightly thinner cardboard paper, the print itself is absolutely stunning. You can see every single detail on the on the print. You can see like here, you see all the all the bricks. Every detail is there. It's really nice and sharp. So if you come across this puzzle and you want to buy it, now at least you know what you're getting into and I highly recommend it. And this, my friends, is yet another very rare jigsaw puzzle by Waddington's. And this one is 750 pieces and it's called Dilemma at Westminster. In which it appears that a car has broken down in the middle of the road and you can see all the people passing by on their cars and just watching what's going on. And no surprises, this is a much smaller puzzle, 23 inches by 17 inches or 58 centimeters by 44 centimeters. And I mean, and given the age of this puzzle, 1986 is not bad at all. It's got that really old vibe. And because this whole picture is like bluish and browns, it is not bad at all. And as you can see here on this piece, the, the painting itself is really nice and sharp. So uh, again, if you come across this rare puzzle, grab it because it's going to be super fun and I think this is going to be a challenge as well given the lack of colors. Now similarly to the previous puzzle this one is also a Waddington's from 1986 and yes it is a photo it is not a painting and I know it is not everyone's cup of tea but because it's got bolts in it I love it like I absolutely love this little brown and white uh, bolt here so i'm really looking forward to solving this puzzle with you here on the channel so again if you're looking for something real quick you know easy fix this should be probably a two to three hour puzzle depending on your on your speed and uh, just so you know again it's 58 by 54 centimeters or 23 by 17 inches And even though there's some sort of discoloration in the back and the, the pieces are slightly thin as well, like the previous puzzle, I can definitely say the printing quality is superb. You can see every, even the nails on the wall on this um, photo. So honestly, this is yet another great puzzle, super high quality, very easy no nothing wrong with it so i highly recommend it if you want a vintage puzzle and that's under a thousand pieces i was literally saving this one for uh, the very end of this video because it is literally the only double-sided puzzle that i have and it is by a very obscure company called creative cards so please let me know if you've heard of them before this one is 600 pieces and it is called HMS Victory. And funny enough, I wasn't going to buy it at all. I went into the shop in White Owl Park here in Auckland and I saw this puzzle at the very bottom of a box uh, full of other toys and puzzles. And um, when, I, when I saw double sided, I had a look at it and I thought, wow, this is something really special. And it literally, it cost me 50 cents. And look at the quality of this puzzle. It's not bad. It is not like the thinnest puzzle around, but it's quite nice and solid. And the print itself is really good. So I'm really looking forward to solving this puzzle here with you on the channel. Okay, guys, my last puzzle for today is literally nothing special. This one is... Oh, I don't know how to pronounce this, so it's going to be on the screen now. And this one is a small 500 pieces puzzle by Waddington's as well. And check out the quality of this. You know, 
they all of those little blue boxes if you come across them and you want to try something vintage buy them and again i know this is not everyone's cup of tea but in terms of price quality and the experience you will have with a puzzle like this i couldn't recommend them more i mean look at the quality of the the print itself you can see every detail in it and by the way guys this is just my uh collection number four there will be many more because i have so many more puzzles some brand new titles and i have a whole lot of holdsons you might really enjoy but that's it for today this is my last puzzle and i highly recommend it and just in case there is someone still out there watching this video to this point my favorite puzzle in this whole collection that you've seen today is this 1500 pieces jigsaw puzzle by Waddington's called Chester and you will be seeing this puzzle very soon in the channel. Alright guys this is it that was my collection number four of jigsaw puzzles if you really enjoyed it make sure you check the collection number three which is right here and if you want to see actual game plays where I solve the puzzles check this playlist right here. See you next time bye!